I'm a little nervous about being married. Uh, Because now, if I'm broke, it matters. (laughs) Right? Like, if you're broke as a single guy, it's almost charming, you know? But now, if I bring home a bag of combos for dinner, she made a bad decision. That's what happened. (laughs) And I've been broke, you guys. I've been there. Recently, I was so broke, a stranger offered me a free burrito at a train station, and I said yes! I didn't even ask what was in it. I'm allergic to some things. Granted, most burritos don't contain the antibiotic clindamycin, but I should have asked so. I should have asked. Could have been anything in there. I don't know. Could have been horse meat. I don't know. But at a certain level of broke, you don't look a gift horse burrito in the mouth. That's the reality. I was so broke recently. You know you're broke when you make a purchase in dimes. You know? Have you ever tried to pay with dimes in 2019? But even if you pay with quarters, they're used to it. They're cool with it. You bust out a bag of dimes and they're like, uh, no, we don't have any licorice rope. Nor is it 1946. Get out of my 7-Eleven, please. A yeah, dime will remind you you're broke. Right? You look at it like, what president's on this one again? Oh, right, the one during the Great Depression. That's appropriate. That makes sense. That's who's on that. Franklin Delano Roosevelt is on the dime. A dime isn't even money. It's just like a reminder that polio used to exist. <laughs> I love the people groaning, like, hey, I liked polio. You shouldn't make fun of it. (laughs) That's the thing, a hundred dollar bill, you get Ben Franklin, right? You pay with a hundred, you get to think of the joy of scientific discovery and the enlightenment. Pay with a Roosevelt dime, you think of a time in history where Mussolini was the not so bad one. (laughs) And it's not just the front of dimes that's sad either. Right, even the back, because if you look at the back of other coins, you get to see cool stuff. You get to see the Lincoln Monument. You get to see a bald eagle. Half dollar has a bald eagle with arrows. I feel like they wanted to give him a gun, but they were like, ah, Kennedy is on the other side of this. You know what's on the back of a dime? A torch and some leaves. Looks like the emoji for deforestation. (laughs) Turns out I googled the symbolism and it turns out that the leaves represent your ability to eat and provide for yourself. And the torch represents that going up in flames because all you have is dimes. (laughs) That's how that works. Hey, did you know Drybar has their own app? Download it right now to watch my whole special.